Hello guys, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will be messing around with another template that Unity provides us, and that is the first person shooter template. If you still don't know how to download that in Unity Hub, just go to the learning tab. And here we have the projects, and we have the first person shooter micro game. Uh, we'll just need to download this, I already downloaded it, you have the check button right there. Just press it and download, in my case it's open project. But I will not open this way, I will show you another way to open the project. You just need to go to projects, a new project, with a version uh, 2019.4, uh, it's a long, long term support version, LTS. And here we have first person shooter micro game, and it's not downloaded here, why? Okay. Or maybe is it just installing? Okay. While this is downloading or something, let's put here. Wait. First person shooter. Micro game. Okay, this is already set up, but shows your location if you haven't yet. FPS micro game is downloaded here, and that's, let's create a project. This can take some time if it's the first time loading the project. Especially these kind of templates uh, and all are more consuming than opening a empty project. Okay, finally this is open up and we have two options here, explore the project or start tutorials. Let's start the tutorials. That is our main goal here. Why is this? Okay, full screen. Okay, the first step is playtest. So let's press start to begin, and they are telling us to go into play mode. Let's press play, okay, and we have to eliminate all the, wow that's pretty cool. Where are the enemies? Ooh, a big one. Oh, I can aim? Oh my god, this is sick man. Oh, this looks really good. Nice. Okay, we can just go in. Very nice, very nice. Let's quit play mode. And they are telling us to select a game object in the hierarchy. That is the player. Okay, let's pick the player here. And when you pick a a game object in the hierarchy, it op it open up here the properties of the game object. They are telling us to change the gravity downforce and the gravity affects how high your player can jump. Well, that makes sense. Okay, let's input something like uh, 30. Next. And let's play test with a new gravity. Okay, let's quit. You have now learned how to play and make modifications to your game. Okay. Um, yeah, we can save the game. That's a good idea. Let's save. And tutorial 2, add a room. Okay, let's go. We can't mess much with the values here. We have to follow the tutorial. So, it's, uh, it's very linear. Uh, add a room. Okay, let's start. They are telling us about the hierarchy and the scene view. Here is where we have our game objects that are present in the scene. That's pretty much it. Let's press next. Uh, they are talking now about the end tool. We already covered this in the previous tutorials about Unity. Uh, they are telling us to pen the scene. So this way is how you can pen the scene just by grabbing and moving with your mouse. Let's press next. Now they are telling us to orbit the scene with the hand tool. Uh, this means that you press Alt and an eye will appear and this way you can rotate the camera around. This is very useful. Next, uh, zoom is simply by moving your mouse, uh, your mouse wheel forward and backwards. You can zoom in and zoom out respectively. Also you can pan if you press uh, if your if your mouse have the middle mouse button uh, with the input down, uh, most of the actual mouses uh, 
let you do this you can also pan around let's press next and they are talking about level prefabs we didn't talk about prefabs yet uh, but let's see what they say here let's make your level more interesting by adding a room prefab a prefab is a game object that has components and properties and is stored as an asset it can be reused anywhere you want in your game yeah basically we have here all, already the prefabs so for now let's press next uh, we'll drag a prefab into the scene it's just really drag and drop so I'm grabbing the room altar and I will put it right here bang now they are telling us to select the move tool this will activate the these transform arrows and now I can just put this I will grab the blue arrow and put it right there press next now we need to update the level navigation mesh uh, basically the navigation mesh is a, a surface that tells the the enemies okay you can move in this surface so they will avoid to go into these holes in, on the on the floor and and into the walls and all kind of that stuff so we'll select the nav mesh and you can see here that the nav mesh is this blue blue area but we just grab this prefab and it's not blue there so this is already configured here a little script for nav mesh surface but what do you need to do is bake bake the new nav mesh uh, to include prob probably these areas here that we see that are more gray so let's bake and now this this area here is already blue as well so we can press next and we can go into the tutorial tree edit colors okay let's let's go oh let's save the scene before we go there save okay edit colors so they say let's make the level more colorful by changing the floor material let's start to begin we we'll select a material here in this panel that is called the project window so let's pick this and now we have uh, the properties in the inspector for this and we want to change the albedo that is the main color so for that we just pick here and now we can select a color I will pick a dark brown color okay next that's really it for the changing colors now we can go into add enemy bot Let's start to begin. So to add an enemy from the prefab, so this is enemy is configured probably, and we just need to grab it and put it right there into the scene. With our move tool already selected, we can move the, the enemy around. So I'll put it here close to this wall. Put next. And this tutorial is also completed. So now we can go into tutorial number five, but before we go, Actually, I think I will make this in, in another video, but before that, let's just hit play and see the result of our changes. So we have the color of the ground that is uh, now that uh, that dark brown color. Let's see if our enemy is also here. Okay, that enemy was there, but our enemy should... Yeah, our enemy is there as well. Let's kill this enemy that we just placed and kill the other enemy. And now we also have here the new the new area that we input from the prefabs and we can move around and that's pretty much it okay so that was it for this first tutorial in the next one we'll go into importing our first asset at least is uh, the name of of the tutorial and let's see what uh, what more this tutorial have to offer so thank you a lot for watching and supporting this kind of videos. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want me to do more of this stuff. And I will see you in our next tutorial. Thank you a lot.